Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial on number systems and bitwise operators. First, we will start with the number systems. A number system is used as a notation for representing the numbers using digits or symbols. Notation is given as x to the base y, where x is the number and y is the radix. Radix is also referred as base, which is the number of unit digits including 0 used to represent the numbers. Depending upon the value of y, we have different types of number systems. First is decimal number system, which is also known as base 10 system. It is the way most human beings represent numbers. In this system, the digits or valid values are 0 to 9. Decimal counting starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Consider an example 27 to the base 10, which is nothing but 2 into 10 to the power 1 plus 7 into 10 to the power 0, which is equal to 20 plus 7. Second, binary number system, which is also known as base 2 system. Binary is the natural way most digital circuits represent and manipulate numbers. Binary numbers uses only 0 and 1 digits. Binary counting starts from 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 and so on. Consider an example 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 to the base 2 which can be expanded as 1 into 2 to the power 4 plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 0 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0 which is equal to 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 which is 27 to the base 10. Each digit in binary is referred as bit. Considering the same example, the rightmost bit is least significant bit called as LSB and leftmost bit is the most significant bit called as MSB. Next is hexadecimal number system where base is 16. Hexadecimal is used in representing digital circuit numbers in a form that is more compact than binary. 16 possible different numbers represented in the form of digits from 0 to 9 and letters A to F. Hexadecimal counting starts from 0 to F, then 1 0 to 1 F and so on. Given table shows the mapping of decimal, hexadecimal and binary number system. In binary, using 4 bits, 16 different combinations of hexadecimal can be shown. So we have used the 4 bits. In hexadecimal value of digits 0 to 9 are same as decimal values. And the value of A is 10 in decimal, B is 11 and so on. Consider an example 1B to the base 16, which can be expanded as 1 into 16 to the power 1 plus 11 into 16 to the power 0, which is equal to 27 to the base 10 in decimal. There are many other number systems but we will be dealing with only these three number systems. To convert a binary number to hexadecimal, first, starting from right, group bits in set of 4, as 4 bits are sufficient to represent 16 different hexadecimal values. Then, map these 4 bits to the corresponding hexadecimal digit. Consider an example 1010111 to the base 2. If we group bits in a set of 4, at the end 2 bits remain. To compensate the 4, append 2 zeros at the left. 
so value will be 2bb to the base 16 to convert hexadecimal number to binary number take each hexadecimal digit to obtain the equivalent group of four binary bits then group them together consider an example a to de to the base 16 equivalent binary will be 10100101011110 to the base 2 bitwise operators bitwise operators are special types of operators that are used in bit level programming a bitwise operator works on individual bits in the next few slides we will be discussing about different types of bitwise operators First is bitwise AND operator. Anding the bit with 0 will give the output as 0. That is, anding 0 with 0 or 1 will give the output as 0. But anding the bit with 1 will give the bit as it is at the output. That means anding 1 with 0 gives 0 and ending 1 with 1 gives 1. Hence, AND operator is used for setting the desired bit as 0 in given data. Consider an example. In a given 8-bit pattern, set the 8th bit and 5th bit as 0 and other bits should remain unchanged. Given 8-bit pattern is 1000-1010 which is 8a in hexadecimal. Anding the 8th bit and 5th bit with 0 will give the 0 at the output and anding remaining bits with 1 will give the status of those bits as it is at the output. That is, those bits will remain unchanged. Second is bitwise OR operator. Doing OR operation of bit with 0 will give the bit as it is at the output. That is, doing OR operation of 0 with 0 gives 0 and with 1 gives 1. But doing OR operation of the bit with 1 will give the output as 1. That means Doing OR operation of 1 with 0 or 1 gives 1. Consider an example. In a given 8-bit pattern, to set the 8-bit and 5th bit as 1 and remaining bits unchanged. Given 8-bit pattern is 1000-1010 which is 8A in hexadecimal. Doing OR operation of the 8th bit and 5th bit with 1 will give the 1 at the output and doing OR operation with remaining bits with 0 will give the status of those bits as it is at the output. That is, those bits will remain unchanged. Next is bitwise XOR operator. XORing the bit with 0 will give the bit as it is at the output that is XORing 0 with 0 gives 0 and XORing 0 with 1 gives 1. But XORing the bit with 1 gives complement of the bit at the output that means XORing 1 with 0 gives 1 and XORing 1 with 1 gives 0. Hence XOR operator is used for complementing the desired bits in a given data. Consider an example. In a given 8-bit pattern, complement the 8th bit and 5th bit and other bits should remain unchanged. Given 8-bit pattern is 1000-1010 which is 8A in hexadecimal. XORing the 8th bit and 5th bit with 1 will give 
the complement of the bit at the output and XORing remaining bits with 0 will give the status of those bits as it is at the output. That is, those bits will remain unchanged. Bitwise complement Complement operator is used to complement the individual bits of given data. If the bit is 0, it will make it as 1. If the bit is 1, it will make it as 0. Consider an example. Complement the given 8 bit pattern 1000 The complement of the data will be 0 triple 1 0 1 0 1 that is 0 x 7 5 in hexadecimal. Right shift operator Right shift operator is used to shift the bits towards right by a specified position. Considering an example, to shift the 8 bit pattern one position towards right, the value of 1000-1010 whose hexadecimal value is 0x88 when shifted one position towards right, it will become 01000101 whose hexadecimal value is 0x45. Left Shift Operator This operator is used to shift the bits towards left by a specified position. Considering an example, to shift the 8 bit pattern one position towards left, the value of 1001010 whose hexadecimal value is 0x8a when shifted one position towards left, it will be 00010100 whose hexadecimal value is 0x14. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.